so this topics is very very important so all are actually this there is a broad uh, umbrella eczematous disorder so atopic eczema seborrheic dermatitis contact dermatitis all are included under this umbrella okay so one is seborrheic dermatitis uh, atopic eczema and contact dermatitis when you get a patient with uh, you give information that uh, patient present to skin lesion itchy skin lesion after going to contact on uh, it may be cloth it may be rubber it may be ornaments okay uh, but there is contact history then your diagnosis may be contact dermatitis see is contact dermatitis <coughs> when it presents it uh, it can appear just a few minutes after going to contact of offending agents or it can present few hours or a uh, few days isn't it sometimes acha ami ie boli je oneke ache na imitation er ornaments porle sathe sathe rash uthe jay that is contact dermatitis to seta apnar immediately o hote pare abar koyek ghonta pore ba ek din pore giyeo hote pare kintu apnar mane brainstorm hoyte hobe je o acha history ta erokom dilo je ei jinish ta korlei or ei skin lesion hoy acha tahole eta bodhoy contact dermatitis and this patient may have history of other allergy or family history so these points indicate you to go contact dermatitis another hyper ig syndrome is a immunodeficiency disorder so immunodefi primary pid actually primary immunodeficiency disorder this topics is not included in syllabus of foptas it's included in uh, akp so it's not so much important for you now you can know that oh yes the another differential diagnosis of eczema is maybe hyper ig syndrome when patient with immunodeficiency as well as allergy atopic we scott alrick syndrome it's also immunodeficiency disorder it has a triad of feature three feature thrombocytopenia infection and eczema this the feature diagnosis of scott alrick syndrome always remember that this triad of feature immunodeficiency thrombocytopenia eczema three feature present diagnosis will rock with scott alrick syndrome okay dd okay now management management is very important um, it's better to know, um, read guideline also in case of eczema treatment you have to step ladder pattern first of all advice what advice this avoid exacerbating factors cut nails wear cotton cloths education for parents and child avoid pet they are told please avoid pet blanket because they have furs and this fur um, exacerbate the symptoms <coughs> so first of all advice then topical management what are the topical management first of all emollients hmm bath oil soap substitute moisturizer uh, you can use emollients if patient not improve with emollients then go for topical steroid you have to know different potency of steroid Num name especially see mild mild moderate potent very potent four categories of steroid hmm? in case of baby always try to use mild mild is hydrocortisone 0.05 or 21 percent hydrocortisone when we use uh, we need to use steroid in face or uh, skin fold of course always use hydrocortisone only never fluticasone clobetasone betamethasone never never you will doing harm to your uh, patient okay in case of child always use only hydrocortisone in face because it's the mildest steroid then moderate potency which one imovet betnovet potent potent also betnovet actually when you use uh, beta methasone valley rate in um, 0.5% 0.05 0 0.025% 0 then it is moderate when you use it 1% uh, then it becomes um, potent 
okay so percentage is important very important dermovet again so there is bnf british national formulary classification of this topical steroid it better to um, learn that and why why we use this differ, um, different potency of steroid what is the disadvantage of giving any steroid at any times because it's very harmful it can although it's topical you are using top, uh, locally but it can still it can produce side effects what are the side effects see risk of side effects skin thinning so easily patient can develop bruising petechi hmm? stria irreversible stria telangiectasia acne depigmentation cushing syndrome even you can write it down skin atrophy hmm? so so much serious side effects are present among this topical steroid so you have to careful before prescribing topical steroid what are the other uh, uh, options your patient you are giving steroid cream but still not patient in remission hmm. you can give some weight wrap and bandage some bandage you give topical cream then give a weight bandage <coughs> top of that it, uh, dry bandage huh. that bandage that weight bandage contain zinc it also helpful for remission yeah? useful for chronic limb eczema bandage or wrap see weight wrap hmm? make first layer wet with either water or emollient and place second dry layer over the top so wrap first uh, use emollient or any topical um, ointment or cream then wrap and top of that uh, dry layer of bandage <coughs> this is weight wrap still not helpful then what is next option topical tacrolimus is also very important um, you can use when your patient develops uh, side effect of steroid you can't increase the potency anymore then you can go for tacrolimus it ca you can safely use over the face also hmm? so emollient topical steroid topical tacrolimus all these are topical uh, options along with weight wrap and bandage what are the systemic option antihistamine for itching antibiotics you, you, you mentioned uh, you found that staphoreas streptococcus are very much aggravating factor so if infection present you have to give antibiotics if there is exim uh, herpeticum you have to give acyclovir still not improve do dietary change avoid cow's milk huh? uh, or any type of milk so dietary change still not improve systemic therapy i mean oral immunosuppressive drugs but this is the last option actually i hope your patient will cure before that Huh? oral prednisolone cyclosporine any other so what are the option first of all advice general advice then uh, stepwise management first of all topical what are the topical emollient topical steroid topical uh, tacrolimus uh, during acute phase you can use weight wrap bandage after that oral medication antihistamine antibiotic and uh, acyclovir <coughs> still not improve then systemic therapy <coughs>